Welcome back to Age of Engineering, and uh, it's time to head to the end and kill the Ender Dragon, but we're going to need a few upgrades first around the base and elsewhere. Now, unfortunately, this intro has been filmed after the rest of the, uh, the, the rest of this episode because my hard drive decided to just fail on the two intro files. No idea why. Ordered a new hard drive anyway. I just don't want to have any chance of losing footage uh, for, you know, large chunks of footage, that is, because I often record multiple hours at a time. Anyway, let's get started by getting some upgrades to the Dark Bow. Now, I've gone ahead and upgraded this to Empowered 2, which is okay, but Empowered 3 might be in range, double layer capacitor. I've made a couple of extra capacitors anyway, so the double layer shouldn't be all that hard to make. And it's not energetic alloy and coal dust. Uh, can we just stop you and get some coal dust back? I think we can. Uh, so that should be fine. We just need energetic alloy, which is a few things we should already have. Um, a couple of redstone will do fine. I don't think I'm out of glowstone yet. Now we've got four, so two of that will be fine. Two gold. And we can put those back in the alloy smelter. Gold first. Learn that. <laughs> Through experience, not to put in, I think it's, is it glowstone or is it redstone? You put one in first, it cooks it up into something else. If you leave all furnace mode on, all smelting. So yeah, we'll just leave that. So we're going to get two of these <clears throat> energetic alloy ingots, one coal dust and two capacitors should do us. So uh, two capacitors, coal dust. Uh, I think it was the wrong way around. Just wait for the energetic alloy. So our bow is now upgraded. Powered three. I don't have the resources for the octatic capacitor. <laughs> I need more rose red, which I need beetroot seeds for. And I've got beetroot, but not beetroot seeds. I need to go for a raid to, a, to another village, perhaps. So I also want to get soul ban enchantment. This is going to help uh, ender crystals and lapis lazuli. It needs 14 levels of XP, though. So I may need some kind of farm to get XP fairly soon, uh, if not already in this episode. Let's see. Um, ender crystal, I've got. And let's put you there. I have two of them. Yeah, I do. And I've put a draw up there for book and quills. So we get soul bound. And then how much does it take to get soul bound onto something? So let's say, well, these are all empowered one, next part from the boots, which I got from a drop. So uh, let's just try doing that to the bow, shall we? Soul bound. It only costs five to actually uh, enchant them with this. Okay, so. Five isn't isn't hard to get, but 14 definitely is, at least from the solidified experience, without some kind of major hunting trip, which I may have to do. So, soulbound, bow. So I should never lose that on death now. <laughs> Thankfully. Now, one of the things I want to do is enchant the bow um, to make it more powerful. I think we can get away with this, but look at the look at the enchantment cost. Oh, and what I don't know is if we, it's easy to strip that specific enchantment off the bow again afterwards. So we're going to want to go for the highest level one. The material resources are trivial to get, but the uh, the enchantment cost itself, that may take a fair bit more. Um, so yeah, I've got six levels and I don't have any more of the solidified experience. Uh, let's go and see how well this bow does uh, as is, shall we? So it is daytime, but we have uh, a few critters around, like a creeper. And oh, it's still taking two hits, I think, to actually kill things. So we do definitely need some more upgrades. Uh, however, this is generating some solidified experience. And uh, I can go around and hunt a few more things. Of course, we can get... Ooh, Enderman. Uh, I can probably get another soul vial for... Uh, if the Enderman didn't just teleport all over the place. Yeah, so we can capture a few soul vials. I'll go and get a few more experience and I probably want to... Oh, you keep on going away. <laughs> Stop teleporting. Have I got one? No, you teleported again. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to get more XP. Okay, so in order to get more XP, I thought I'd give this a try and we'll see if it actually works. Um, I'm just going to knock the block out there. I'm going to use this XP vacuum. It's not very hard to make. And experience reward is just stuff we've already got. Pulsating crystals, again, same thing. And I'm hoping that it will do as good a job as, um, you know, the, this vacuum chest does. And if I put it in there, 
and then I'm hoping that if I put a fluid tank next to it, fluid tank will be able to pull from the back or even will be pushed from the back uh, any experience orb that drops. So I've upgraded the iron spikes to gold, which should drop experience orbs. And is there any, I don't think there's any um, kind of <laughs> interface for that. So let's turn it on and see if that needs uh, anything else. It does say, pulls nearby XP orbs and pushes them into adjacent tanks and conduits. It needs to be activated with liquid XP. I'm not sure what activated with liquid XP means, whether it just means it needs uh, experience orbs or if I have to have a tank with liquid XP next to it. Let's just give it a go and let's see what happens. I've got one soul vial. Um, I suppose I should just get more soul vials. Are they being pulled? No. So I'm going to need to get liquid XP somehow. Okay, so I perhaps should have done this before crafting the XP vacuum, but uh, I can transfer levels into and out of a tank using an experience rod. And of course, the experience rod is used to make the XP vacuum. So I guess I could have done this ahead of time. But if we just pop in here, mm, step around here quickly. If I shift right click, that should activate it. And hopefully that doesn't need to have that um, renewed by me now, but uh, it did take up three levels. Let's turn this back on again. And let's see whether it's actually going to work. Because um, if it does need a continual flow of XP, I'm going to have to loop, you know, some kind of conduit over the top to pull back out of this tank. That's fine. Are you going to pull? Yeah, looks like you're pulling liquid XP in. And if I take liquid XP from here, um, if I just, uh, sorry, right click to take levels out. That's about 200, 200 liquid XP top left per level. So I guess we can wait for a while and let the Enderman generate us some XP. So surrounding the entire farm with some cobblestone just to block light temporarily, just to see if that actually affects things. It doesn't, they sort of have this visual effect and they still teleport out there, but we can get plenty of liquid XP. So that's good. Uh, I do want to stop them teleporting though, so uh, I definitely, I mean, we could create a drop shaft, I don't want to do that. Uh, I could sink it into the ground, I don't want to do that, or cover it with water I suppose. Um, they have like a range of 30 odd blocks they can teleport away, so I thought we'd go for a different approach. Uh, I've heard tell that the Tesla coil from Immersive Engineering stops this, so uh, I thought we might well try crafting that and see if that's true. Uh, we need some electrum. I think I've put some on in our smeltery. Let's go and pop over there and uh, see. Should be made by now. Uh, electrum, you go to the bottom. There's eight ingots of it. Not enough for one block. So let's just craft a couple. How many did I need? I needed four, I think. Uh, yeah, two per MV capacitor. I won't take very long at all. So I am actually getting the right things out of there. Yes, I am. And there we go, last one. Grab the Electrum. You're also gonna need, probably to create a couple of blocks of copper and put them through for put copper plates and turn those into the copper coils that we're familiar with. So MV uh, capacitor, and what am I missing? Uh, whoops, I'm missing just lead. I just need just one more lead, okay. It's not terribly hard. Uh, one lead. There we go. And pop you in place. MV. Yes, please. That's the second MV. So now we just need these copper coil blocks. So if we just make a pair of shears, uh, just because I never remember where I put my originals, we can put these in place with the shears and get lots of you. We can then turn those, uh, is it just with, what is it with, uh, a treated, no, just any stick. Okay. Do I have any sticks in my vet? I do have sticks. Wow. I definitely didn't mean to, <laughs> but that's fine. And let's just convert all those up. We can drag those around in a circle to get six. Uh, we're only going to need two, of course. And I'm going to need some Minori crystals. So that means some iron. Click on you. Get some of an ore crystals back. Two of those. Let's just grab all of this back again. We don't need it in there. And then we can make um, the Tesla coil. 
Yes. Okay, so it should be powered by RF, which is handy because we have RF power in there. I just have to get in there without killing myself. Um, which is harder now that I've actually put down the rest of the spikes. Let's just turn the farm off first. I don't know how much power it actually needs, so let's go. As you can see, the, the vacuum chest isn't you know, isn't, uh, hasn't got enough range all the way back here. So what I'm probably going to need to do in future is have another one at the back wall. That's okay. Um, let's just get rid of you for a second and let's see if we can. Uh, maybe it's got a range of seven blocks, it says. So anywhere on the side of this should be fine. Let's give that a go. Uh, that's my last block, uh, Tesla coil. And you are connecting. You're probably going to need an explicit connection to one of these. Um, but if I put you, say, like pointing downward, I have another block. Let's just use a block of iron temporarily. Put it on top of that block. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Where did you go? I'll be right back. The one disadvantage of having an ex <laughs> a vacuum chest is that it vacuums everything. Uh, although we can actually put an item filter in here. So interesting. We can probably make it do that job just fine. Uh, and ooh, in fact, can we up the range? No, we can't. Oh, such a shame. Anyway, let's try replacing that uh, here. I'm not sure which side to get it from. So it looks like you can get attachments from any side. So if I just remove you again and go grab it from the vacuum chest. Oh, you're not going to do it this time. Fine. So we put you one further up and you should connect. You're not going to connect. Why aren't you going to connect? There's look, there's a connection right there. <laughs> what? Is that only one side? Or do you need a lever of some kind? Uh, let's quickly check the docks. Yep, yeah, that's right. I'm being an idiot. That's the red. <laughs> that's the red. The, the redstone flux conduit. That's just a signal cable. So uh, let's just connect this, and you are connected just fine, whichever way I put you. So let's just put you the right way up. And oh, it's gone for the. It's gone for the vacuum chest again. That's straightforward. Let's just grab those back. He does actually need a redstone signal to start, I think. So that should do. And it will probably hurt me as well. So let's go and just remove everything we don't want in here. Just before I start. Uh, yeah, that's going to go over there, but I'll sort that out later. And let's remove you. Now, it has two modes, a high power mode and a low power mode. I'm hoping it doesn't start in high power mode, but we'll see very shortly. Hope, well, at least hopefully, if I turn on this and turn you on. Are you going to... Ah, yeah. Wow. Okay, three, three hearts of damage. Uh, I'm not sure I want to get close to that. In fact, I probably want to run redstone... Ah! <laughs> It's going to kill me at this rate. OK, I'm going to go and quickly flip that lever and then probably connect redstone conduit to the top of it so that we can have control from this same switch on the outside. Uh, but more importantly, actually, while it's on, can we turn this on and see if we get any uh, any teleporters? Uh, can you teleport? None so far. Mm, that sounds good. Uh, but it's not even spawned any yet, so let's see when it spawns them. I'm just looking at the mini-map at the top right, if you want to know what I'm looking at. Let's empty that out. Hey, well, I can hear the Tesla coil. I can see some teleporting. No, no, it's still teleporting, or oh, they're still teleporting out. Oh, dear. Well, that didn't work, so one last try of something. Uh, the, I think there's an item called an ender tether. 
Oh, that does sound more promising than the Tesla coil, but Tesla coil is cool. <laughs> it's cool to damage things. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if it drops experience when it kills things, so we've got to be a little bit more careful with that. Um, let's just craft... Uh, we need some wither dust, so a wither skeleton skull. Gets us an unstable ender pearl, and then we need the ender tether itself, which... I'm not sure if it actually needs anything other than a uh, redstone torch, so we're going to need some redstone. I don't want to be around. Um, I don't think we need RF for this, but where's my redstone? Have I used all of it? Let's go and check. Um, yeah, so hopefully this will do the job. If not, and this doesn't work, feel free to comment. Let me know what you think will do the job, huh? sort of running out of ideas so hopefully this will actually help i just really don't want to have anything that's very vanilla i don't uh, want to set up those kinds of things let's set up a uh, redstone torch and i've got a couple of obsidian so let's see if that's that recipe will get going you will let's go and place this uh, i assume we can just dump it anywhere in there so uh, i need to turn the farm off and then just pop it on the side of the um you off pop it on the side oh my glad it's on the side of there maybe um hmm ow ow <laughs> yeah i need to uh, get a little bit further in without uh, causing much damage uh, there we go all right that looks more promising let's give this a go will you now work let's turn everything back on Okay, and let's see once that generates some Enderman, whether they teleport. Now, well, let's look at the effect. But I don't mind the visual effect so much as whether they actually end up outside. And if they get dragged back in, I'm uh, <laughs> quite in favour of that. I haven't seen any end up orphaned outside yet, but if I do, I'll let... Um, yeah, just if you see any around, let me know in the comments. Uh, that's about the only ideas I have for keeping the Enderman in there. However, we are getting a fair amount of XP. So I'm just going to grab all of it that we can. <laughs> are you all getting dragged back in? I hope so. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's assume that that's okay. I'll let you know next episode if it's not. But now we need to head towards the end portal to get uh, started in the end. Um, we need to just finish off with soul binding my stuff i've got three of my pieces of armor soul bound uh, i've not got the leggings done yet i need the drill and the well, it'd be nice to have to do this manual and cleaver but i don't think you can actually apply that to the cleavers uh, or at least the the end um, the tinker's construct stuff no you can't so we can't do that anyway um, i'll finish those off and then i'll see you at the end portal now, my particular end portal is out here. It's 2,000 meters from my uh, my portal to my base, so it's not great positioning. However, it is nice uh, that I found it. So uh, we need a few bits and pieces of blocks. So we need eyes of ender. So let's get those sorted, shall we? Uh, let's put the back ones in first, just so that I don't have to step near the lava at all. And... Just the last three. One, two, three. Portal to the end is open. Now, this is a new end. I've only really played it in 1.7. So, this should be entertaining, shouldn't it? In we go. I've got my glider on. Maybe not a good idea. Oh, it's fine. Okay, so let's just turn the glider back on. And make sure I'm over here. And I want to dig myself in a little bit just because I want to get some end stone. Not that I can send it back to my base so far. The ender chests and pouches, they're actually fairly expensive in this pack. So I just want to get to a few bits and pieces. And um, I guess... Oh, yeah, go away. Um, uh, yeah, I guess we can get some more. <sighs> of course, you're going to come through the stone to get me. Fine, let's go and see what we can do about fighting the thing, shall we? Uh... Uh, let's just make sure my glider's on. Yeah, it is. Alright, let's head up a little bit and see whether I can shoot these things. I'm terrible, apparently. 
Slow down. There we go. Shot one. And I'm going to go around and do the same, hopefully. Uh, zoom up a little bit. And then in we go. Ow, ow. Ah. Too much fire. There we go. Right. More end of fighting. Uh, I'll bring you back, hopefully, for, for, for the finale. Okay. Hopefully you should now be vulnerable. Come on. <laughs> Are you vulnerable? Helps if I'm not going to the void. <laughs> this bow is hilariously short-ranged. <laughs> Ah, there we go. So you come down to fight? Yes, so you are vulnerable. I'm gonna keep fighting. Ah! One on top of this platform. There we go. <laughs> ah, it's gathering Enderman. Uh, I don't want to go down there. Okay, she's down on the ground down there. Um. I'm going to keep staying up here. <laughs> it's easier. And uh, yeah, we're not far away. Uh, oh, good shot. Let's just get her when she's passing. Nearly done. Um, just want to make sure. Somewhere central, maybe? Come on. <laughs> I miss my hundreds of damage crossbow. <laughs> uh, I'm going to stay down on the ground. Come on. Let me fight you up here. I know you want to come up here. Come on. Fight me! Okay, maybe not that close. Uh, where did you go? Come on. There we go. One ender dragon. Down. And we should get lots and lots of XP from this. Yep. Let's just try and get XP without getting a hit tip by too many endermen. We've got the dragon heart um, here. That's good. We're also going to want the dragon egg, but I don't need it right yet. Uh, we should also be able to get through some portals to the end cities and the outskirts of the um, the end, if I can find them anyway. Let me go and deal with this endman problem, and we'll be right back. So the only portal I found was the one right over our entrance spot. Let me just put a few of these dusts that we've been picking up by mining. Um, right over the entrance spot, I put some endstone around it. It's uh, one block high, so we've got to get through that. So the only way I've found of doing that is by uh, using ender pearls. So we should be able to teleport into that block, I assume, with the ender pearl. Here goes nothing. All right, and here we are in another area of the end. I'm not sure how I get back. Oh. Actually, I guess I am sure how I get back. Um, let's go and head up a little bit. Uh, let's just disable the glider. And not miss. There we go. And then we can pop down this, presumably to get back to the same point. Let's hope so anyway, otherwise dying's our only way out. And I'm just going to put a bit of a floor down, just so that I can easily land on it with the glider. Uh, come on, floor. Uh, that should do for now. Alright, and let's get some more of the end stone, because we may well need it. Uh, I should probably put my 3x3 upgrade in, if not the 5x5. But I don't need too much of this stuff. What I'm going to have a look around is for a bit of an explore. I need that chorus, ah, hard to say, chorus fruit to get to the next uh, age. And I don't see any around. Okay, so these are the chorus plants. Uh, I really need to 
Quran, but if you break the bottom, we'll get lots and lots of this chorus fruit, which is pretty much the main impediment to getting to the next stage. So I'm going to collect a lot of this stuff. I'm not sure if you can actually grow it. It'd be nice if you could, but it's probably only an end only thing. So that seems reasonable. And end a hive. Yeah, we don't need bees just yet. Oh, let's collect a few more pieces. Uh, there should be an end city around somewhere, but this was the main purpose of getting out here this stuff. So we're done. We've killed the end dragon. And let's get back to the base now. And here's where I find out if uh, indeed the the way that I out that I thought it was is actually the way out. Um, where's my where's my island gone? Here, island, 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 portal even. Um, it's got to be that way because that's where I came from. Ah, there it is, to home island. Is it indeed to the home island? Uh, let's grab some ender pearls. See if we can get back this way. And I think in the following episodes, we'll come back out here, see if we can find the end city and do more stuff. But we're running out a little bit out of time this episode. Oh, and by the way, those... Oh, uh, by the way, those uh, that ender tether still didn't stop them at teleporting. I think there's some kind of bug with it. Um, the only other block I can find is like the... It's not the Attractor Obelisk, it's the other Obelisk. Inhibitor Obelisk, I want to say? Yeah, the Inhibitor Obelisk. So I, I figure out that's probably the, the only way left I can think of to do it. Probably the only way to do it this pack anyway. Let's see if we can go home. Uh, we can. Good. So the end of portal should be around here. Um, let's just pop over here. Yep, there it is. Can we head home, please? And there we got the end screen. Yep, we just want to head home. Unfortunately, I can't put my bed in the um, <laughs> in the mining world. I would like to, but the bed just explodes when you try. So you're not going to do that. I could just put it out, out, outside this portal, but it doesn't really matter. It's, we're close enough now with this trap of traveling that we can just head back in and be home. Which means uh, now I think we can craft um, a way out of this age and into the next one. Um, let's just take a look at the triggers again. Whoops, let's just close the door. So the triggers are uh, all of these. We want the machine frame, which triggers age six. We can make most of it apart from the end rod. And now we can make the end rod as well with popped chorus fruit or shulker pearls. So we just have to smelt that, it looks like. So let's just smelt, uh, I don't know, we might need a few of these. So let's do a few and uh, that should do us for now. I'm also going to want some bits and pieces, aren't I? So let me go and grab... No, in fact, let's just do that in the next... So that's the next episode. We've got the Ender Dragon done this episode. Next episode, we can carry on and um, get into the next age. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you enjoyed me valiantly and you know, futilely trying to stop these endermen from teleporting. We'll try that inhibitor obelisk next episode, and hopefully that will give me a sustainable means for these things uh, to get me ender pearls without littering my base with uh, all of their friends. Feel free to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys, and feel free to subscribe if you have not already. See you next time.